Hello, Acron fans, and welcome to this replay cast between Kitan and Vikarin. This is on Rooftop Showdown using version 1.3. This is the first cast on the new patch of Acron. And I'm not going to go over the changes. I already went over them in another video. So we're just going to go over this match right now. So see, very quickly, Kitan is... Well, Kitan we saw before going for Grekum. Vikarin is the west side going for CISO. And Vikarin is going for... Fairly reasonable start with the new economy. He is going for three RPs and one importer. Kitan is likely to be going for a couple RPs. And okay, he's getting his initial fire on Seb. He's going to be going for a couple RPs and then probably going to have a spare Oct or two just for when he gets the money to build them. RPs being more expensive, it's a bit trickier to get it set up, but it just means you have to be mindful of how much money you'll have when your Octos are done, rather than assuming that the RP is effectively free once the Octo is built. And there's the first RP, and Kitan, very intent on making sure the start is absolutely perfect, and I'm guessing another Octo is going to be built up. And no, it looks like he's just going to be going for the first two Octos on their own, letting them build up before getting a third, which is wise. I'm not surprised he's doing that, although, as I mentioned before, you can get the third Octo just to speed things up a bit. Thus, I'm a bit surprised he isn't going for that. And Vikran, on the other hand, he has his importers RPs, he has no LC right now, he has just built a factory. Oh wow, he's going for a very fast factory. So, rather unusual for Vikran. Normally he's, I mean, not totally unusual in that his Marines are prepared to expand. One of them going to the north, and one of them has already hit the south base. But he's not going to be going for as much of an expansion as he usually does. Mind you, this is Rooftop Showdown, where there really isn't any safe expansion. And I'm not surprised they're going for what they're going for. Anyway, Kaiden, he does have that third Octo now, just waiting for the money. He needs to, well, actually he had the money already, but... Now, spending it, getting his fourth RP on LC. So, Kitan is going for Heavy Economy, which, like I said, in Rooftop Showdown is a little bit risky to do, seeing as it is a fairly small map in terms of rush distance. It's actually... It's surprisingly small, given the numbers. If you look at the actual numbers of the size of the map, it's 320 by 240, I believe. And 320 is the wide side, but... It's not that far away in terms of rush distance. So, as you can see, Vikarin's Special Ops has destroyed Kitan's... Kitan's do in the future, but it's no big deal. Kitan will likely build up an Octo or two just to deal with that. And he has another Octo for an RP. And he is just scouting out, seeing what's going on with the Special Ops, because you can see the damage on his timeline. Vikran, on the other hand, is keeping a good eye on what's going on, staying in ATHC as well, and will probably be just continuing with ATHCs. He has mentioned a that he really likes the way ATHCs have changed, that they're now a bit cheaper, but not cloaking detectors, however. So I'm guessing he's going to go for Mass ATHC, since he has mentioned he likes that before. And it's not a bad idea at this stage in the game. QP is still kind of hard to come by, and since the economy takes a bit longer to build up, getting machinery right away isn't necessarily the best strategy. So getting oh, a fair few ATHCs is not at all surprising. And Kitan, of course, is fighting back, getting an Octo, as I mentioned. He's getting an Octo, fighting for Special Ops. Not sure if he's prepped for the ATHCs, however. He should be able to fend him off the couple Octos. They aren't particularly tough units, and their main their main survivability was in their cloaking, which of course Faros could get around, but Faros couldn't beat them one on one. However, because they can't cloak anymore, they are going to be a, uh, not quite as effective as they used to be. But they used to be broken, so don't worry about it. This that's fine. <laughs> They're not going to be broken as they used to be. And you can see Vikarin is going for the north expansion. He had been building the south expansion up a bit too. Kitan, on the other hand, is entirely focused on his main base, though this is like four minutes ahead of where Kitan is. Kitan, three minutes down from here, Kitan has... He's been building up his main base. He's not going for any other units now. He doesn't have the money for it, but he is going to be... See, building up Octo, and that Octo... Actually, he's going to be setting it for the Arcticus, so he's going to be tying everything to the Arcticus. This is just a means of saving Chrono Energy. Being as he is playing fairly far in the past, he has bookmarks right up the unplayable past edge. I'm not surprised he's doing this. However, he is going for a rush. This is a more important thing to bear in mind. He has a rally point sent towards Vikarin's base, going for a rush while Vikarin, of course, prepping with the ATHCs and not getting machinery. Once again, this isn't totally surprising. He doesn't have his QPRP up at this point in time. I'm not sure exactly what he's doing up in the future, but he's only built a couple more things from when we we're looking now. Kaiden, about three minutes down from here, is. Actually going for a counterattack. He's not even waiting for the ATCs to come. He is sending his main duo out to attack and experiment with that, but I don't think he's going to stick with it. However, this is pretty far in the past, so... No, he is retreating with them. He is not... 
committing to that. I, I would have been surprised if he had committed to that. I don't see that working. No, he is committing. Holy crap, he's actually committing to this. Okay, this is not going to work. I'm just going to flat out say it. This isn't going to work. He's Seppi's almost dead right now, and... Like, Vikran is well prepared for any major attack coming in already. That duo, I, I don't see Kaiden getting out of this. This is, a, this is a short game. This is very clearly a short game, but it looks like he has just barely managed to keep his units alive. Getting into progen mode, gonna build a few octos that he can, but I don't see this lasting long. This He's already had his main duo heavily, heavily damaged, and while he does have the resources to rebuild, by that point Vikran will beat him. So I, I would be very surprised if he managed to get out of this, but I'd be very impressed if he did. So Vikran, once again, these are the ATHC we saw before. Kitan is where changes are happening, although Vikran looks like he's... No, he's still building the ATHCs. Nothing has really changed in the way he's set himself up. He's, yeah, he's got an expansion building up. He's got the north ready for the marines. So Vikran is definitely playing for the mid game, but it looks like he may not have to. His ATC is going by the duo and not attacking. He was in a move order, not an attack move order. So Vikran is just changing that up to make sure that he actually deals with the duo when he sees it. And yes, there goes that Faro. The Seppi will be going down very soon after. ATC coming up right to it. Oh, the Seppi has managed to regenerate most of its health from that attack in progen mode. Does not matter though, it does not have anything to progenerate with. And even from Kitan's point of view, he does not have any Octos to build with, he doesn't have any Faros to build with. He has the Arcticus and he has 325 Liquid Crystal in the bank, so he has enough to rebuild from here. But against the Onslaught of the ATHCs, I don't see him being able to get out of this easily. So Kitan, Kitan has GG'd. Yep, Kitan has surrendered. That was a short game. So, first game. Very, very short game. So, we're coming back pretty soon with another game. So there are about five games here. This is game one. And just be back momentarily.